Uh, I would, it, it always happens a little differently, but in general the process is um, I'm either playing guitar or I'm listening to a record and an idea comes to me, whether it's a, some sort of a technical observation I've made about the record I'm listening to or a technical observation I make about uh, some chords that I'm playing or it's just I stumble upon something and it sounds good to me. And the second I get the notion that, that there's a possibility that it could become a song, I, I get my mini, disc my mini disc player, the same one that I'm talking to you right now through, and I am... Um, I, you know, I come up with what, I, st I sing a melody over what I'm playing, more as just, you know, excited about the, the chords that I'm playing, or maybe the melody was part of the original idea, and, and I try to think of some, I'm usually singing some kind of nonsense syllables, and then I find words to fit those syllables, and then I sing those words, I open up my notebook, take my pencil out, um, I never write with uh, school pencils, but I, and I also never write songs with pens. And I write in my notebook. Um, my notebooks are always like art notebooks, like white pages, no lines. And and um, and I and I open up the the book um, and I write down the first line, and, I, and then I press record on the tape recorder. I sing the first line while playing the guitar. Then I stop the the, the mini disc recorder. I think about what the next line is going to be, and I just sort of try to follow a feeling from the beginning to the end. I just record it one line at a time, um, while constantly playing the whole thing to myself and seeing where where that takes me. You know, if I if I'm stuck at a certain point, I don't know what to do next. I just go back to the beginning and play the whole song to myself, and and uh, by the time I get to the part that I was that I had left off at the next part just comes, you know, and so usually it just, it just flows from the beginning to the end, and sometimes a song can be written in a few minutes, and, but n more, more normally it takes a couple hours of just refining things and making, making, you know, changing little things about the lyrics to make it make more sense or whatever, and, um, you know, refining the melody and things like that, and also getting a grasp on how to sing it. Um, because when when you first come up with something, you're a little goofy on on pronouncing the syllables and things like that, and you're not used to singing the melody. And um, and you get you get more used to it, and the song starts to come alive the more you play it. And usually, when I write a song that's really good, is I know it's good because I I just want to play it over and over. And the next day, I can't wait to listen to it and to play it again. So, those songs usually end up becoming better than others just because I play them more times, and and the the um, the melodies start to start, and the way I'm singing it starts to really take on another life. It all comes to me at once, but um, but it's it's pretty. It's pretty rare that the vocal melody or the words will come first in in that in that moment. I mean it all happens during the course of one sitting, but but I think the first thing that sets it off is usually the guitar or the guitar and the voice um together.